Hello everyone and welcome to a little test game of the Street Fighter miniature game testing out a very very simplified solo AI mode that I kind of thought up for people who obviously are still in lockdown or self-isolating etc. There is however already fan made very comprehensive ways of playing the Street Fighter miniature game solo. They are quite complex although once you get it it definitely is better however I thought of a quite simple system to just easily jump in and play. It's not one-to-one -one playing a human character. Uh, in terms of the rules you're going to see here today though, I'll be playing as Ken and I will be playing him, hopefully getting everything right, although obviously mistakes can be made, playing him as I would against a human opponent, as a human player would play the game exactly the same. The differences come in the AI, which will be Ryu here, in how they react to what you do and then when it's their turn, what they do. So I might link the, the more comprehensive solo mode rules that someone's made in the description box if I remember or in a, a pinned comment. But this way it's super simple with the addition of well, one step and one addition. You need a D6. And the game comes with D6s but they're, they're, you know, they're not numbered. Give yourself one D6, that's going to help dictate the AI of the enemy. And... This is where it might fall apart a little bit, I haven't looked at many other decks, I've done this little battle a couple of times and it's been really close. This, now that we're filming it this will be the time where of course it isn't, but tested it a couple of times and it was super close. The other step you need to do is go into the AI's deck, shuffle it of course, make sure it's very shuffled, but take out any cards that are used for defence, because we're going to simulate the AI trying to defend in a different way. So for Ryu, in this case, it's all these cards with the defence. In the top left. Now that obviously is a penalty because that means he doesn't have some of his event cards to play but as I say tested this a couple times and it was still close and some characters are more defensively focused than others so that might mean taking out quite a few of their cards and in that case this would not work for them. But we're going to test this today with Ryu and Ken. They're very similar. They both move three. They both have 25 health. Their ultimates which you need eight charge to do are different but we'll worry about that if it happens. And we'll worry about the, also the intricacies of how the AI acts as we play. But as I say, everything I do with Ken will be as if you play a human player, so that part's going to be correct. Everything with Ryu reacting and doing things though, that's purely going to be D6 decision based probability. Trying to simulate playing against another human who is trying to either like bluff or counter attack or guess what you're doing when you play a card. So I think that about covers everything. Let's just jump in and we'll see how this goes. So for the purposes of this little test battle, and again this is also both just to kind of test these very simplistic solo rules I've got and also to see if people are interested in seeing more. We're just going to play one round between these two, although I think normally it would be best to do best of three, like in the video games. Uh, but yeah, that's what we're going to do. So I have Ken's deck here, it has been shuffled. You start the game by drawing five cards, which I'm going to do, and you can never have more than seven in your hand. So. We have our five cards, I can just show them off. So we have a Hurricane Kick, let me just tip this so I can make sure it's in focus, there we go. Hurricane Kick, Ken's Huge Ego, Relentless Assault, Shoryu Ken and Shoryu Repa. So that's our starting hand. When you begin the game, the first phase is a draw phase, however in turn one you do not do that, but that's where you would draw two cards. For the AI, you do not do that. We're not going to do that for the AI, but a human player would do that. The second phase is the move phase, where you get a free move up to your value. So me being a human player, I can move up to three, and I'm just looking, we have attacks that can charge, which means we close the distance. So we could actually, we can get close to Ryu, and not necessarily point blank. So we'll move Ken, one, two, three. And then we go into the fight phase. In the fight phase, a human player can do two actions from the following list. You can do another move, if you want. You can draw two cards, if you want. You can play a card, and if it does damage, you can combo it like the Devil May Cry miniature game, assuming you have a card it combos into. Or you can do your Ultra, which needs 8 Mia. Me meter, not Mia. <laughs> so what we're going to do is... Let's see. Well, we use Ken's Huge Eagle. No, let's hold on to that. We're just going to do something simple. Now, normally if you're playing a human player, unless the card states otherwise, you place it face down and at this point your opponent would try and guess what you're doing based on how far away you are from them, uh, based on the character you're playing as, are they more likely to favour projectiles over strikes, for instance, and then it becomes a kind of rock, paper, scissors. 
I'll just show you what I want to play. I want to play Hurricane Kick. Ken would charge forwards two squares, which would put us adjacent to Ryu. And then it's a special. You roll two attack dice, and he gets two additional attack dice. Oh no, he doesn't, because he has to move the opponent. If Ryu was right next to him and he charges two, he gets pushed back, and that would add extra dice. So as it is, he's rolling two attack dice, and we know for a fact that's being played. So I'll just I'll put that next to Ken right there. That's oh, but you can't see because of the tree. Let's put it there instead then. So the way I am deducing whether the AI is going to try and counter or block is you're going to roll the d6. If you get a 1 or a 2, he's decided to block. And that means he gets 2 block dice. If you rolled a 1 specifically, he is it's as if he's played one of those cards that have the defense dice that we took out, which means he gets 4 defense dice. So he's making a really big effort to defend. Any other result, and we're going to draw top card and see if it counters us. Simple as that. So let's see. That's a 5, so that means he is going to try and counter us with the top card of his shuffled deck. So that's what he's doing in response. And the way this game works is if I was doing a strike and he has a strike, he's countered me, so we would do the text to the bottom of the card. If I was doing a projectile and he has a projectile counter, we do what the counter says on the bottom of his card. In this case, though, it's rarer because I'm doing a special. So I think you still get to do the charge first because the charge happens before anything else. So we're next to him. And then we flip this. And it is a bait event, which is again quite hard for the AI to use. It isn't a special, so this does not get used. Let me just make sure there's not a penalty for it. If the counter attacked or played an event card, no, this doesn't this doesn't do anything. So that gets into the discard pile for the bot. We get to roll two attack dice. And that is two damage plus one, so that is three damage. So reuse down to 22 HP. And that was one of our two actions. So I was just going to clean everything away, but to mention again, because this attack dealt damage, if I had anything that linked into a yellow down there, we would be able to link it in and then do a free attack, and you can only block against additional combos if the first one's landed. You can't counter-attack, but that didn't happen in this case. That card gets discarded, it's done. We have one action left, and we did get a good hand in terms of specials, because specials are hard to anticipate, I feel, because there's not as many of them in your deck as projectiles and strikes. So, we're going to do a Shoryuken, which is a charge. Three attack dice, it's yellow, because if you choose to use one meter, you can throw in an extra die, but we're not going to. So, nope, as I kill a tree, I apologise, tree. It's because the, the cardboard for the table is a little bit bouncy in the middle, it's not sitting right. Either way, again, because of the AI, it's a 2, so he's going to block, but he's not going to absorb a card. So he is rolling 2 dice for defense, I'm rolling 3 dice for attack. Simple as that. So, Ken is getting, ooh, that's actually really good, 2, 4, and then he gets 1 meter as well. I don't know if you start on 1 meter, because the, like the official stat trackers, the meter at the bottom, it doesn't have a 0, so I'm presuming you start at 1, so he's going to go to 2. And he's doing four damage. Ryu is blocking one of it because there is one shield, which means he has taken an additional three damage. Goes down to 19 HP, but it's now his turn to take a turn. So we zoomed in a bit to see Ryu and Ken because you don't need to see as much for the AI. You don't draw a hand for the AI using this little quick system I've thought up. You simply go into doing your turn. For their free move, move them up to half their distance to get as close to their opponent as possible, rounding up. So Ryu's movement is three, that means he can move two. We're saving that extra one because once you draw the attack he's doing, he's allowed to shift by how much movement he has left because obviously you don't know what he's drawing. So we're going to pull his top card. This is his, he's done his move because he's right next to Ken already. He is attacking, he is putting down a card, and then we would do what would normally happen if a human opponent was attacking us we have to decide how we're reacting to the card that we don't know what it is I have no oh I actually have two defense cards so I could play one hmm yeah I'm gonna block and I'm gonna play Ken's huge eagle for block so we're getting our base for two for defending plus an additional two for Ken's huge eagle which I'm aware you can't quite see because I zoomed in there I have two cards left in my hand and then we flip and see what Ryu was doing. So he was doing a range 2 to 4 projectile, which means he would need to adjust his position by 1, which he has done. Uh, we're just blocking this. 
so he is rolling two attack dice. I believe to get the knockback one on it, it would have to do damage, so let's see if it does damage first. We'll roll his dice, so he is doing... Oh, I went off screen, he's doing two damage. We have four defense dice because I burned a card. And we are blocking one, two, three. So actually he did nothing with that. So I'll get this out of the way, and then he would do his other action, which is exactly the same system again. I feel like I need health bars on the screen or something. Anyway, reuse other action. He is just, again, top decking. We don't know what it is. It's up to Ken to decide how to react. I have two cards left in my hand, one of which is a card I can use to boost defense again, but I kind of want it. So we know that Ryu's going to have a bunch of projectiles because he loves to do Ken spamming. He's going to have a few physicals. And I only have events in my hand. So I think we all we can do is block this with just a base two damage. Or two dice, sorry. So Ken's blocking with two dice. Ryu is doing another fierce Hadouken. Oh, actually, it was a Hadouken before. It's a fierce Hadouken, range two to five, so it does hit. I double checked, and knockback does happen if you uh, deal damage, at least uh, one damage. He's rolling three dice, so he is doing oh four damage. Uh, literally impossible to stop this damaging because that mostly can block two, which he actually did. That's a good roll. So Ken is immediately hit for 2 damage, so it goes down to 23. Not that much damage. He is knocked back 1. And then because it did damage, and again because this is the AI, we immediately draw a card and see if it combo combos. If it doesn't, shuffle it back in. Don't discard it. It's an event, so that is not a combo. So I'm going to shuffle that in a second. And then that is his second attack. This goes in the discard pile, it did damage, back over to Ken. So for Ken's turn, the first thing we do is draw two cards as part of the first action of a turn. We have drawn another Hurricane Kick, which is hopefully in focus there. And we have drawn a... Fierce Adoken. Okay. So, can we combo these at all? I'm actually, uh, I'm not sure if there's a double like combo button you have to match both, or if you can do either. I think you can do either. Hmm. No, we can't link those though. Alright, well, we're going to try and Hadouken at range 3. Fierce Hadouken. So, well, we know what that is. Again, <laughs> there's AI, so it doesn't matter if I do this face up, although normally you wouldn't. We're not at the edge of the maximum range, so we're not getting plus 1. Uh, we see how Ryu reacts. Oh, okay, he is doing a standard block. He's getting 2 block dice. And we're getting three attack dice for a fierce Hadouken. We are getting one meter and one damage. So we're up to three meter then. That's what uh, that's what that symbol means. It reminds me of Pokemon for some reason. And then Ryu is blocking nothing. So he did actually take one damage, putting him at 18 health remaining in this round. So we did damage, but I can't really combo into anything. No, no, we can't really. For his other action this turn, he is going to draw two more cards. So I'm going to draw a forward step kick and a bait card. We'll worry about that if I actually do it. So that is Ken's turn. Back over to Ryu. So I think you've got an idea about how like this simple solo works. So we can start to speed up a bit now. Ryu can move up to two and still leaves himself with one. He is doing an attack. I obviously don't know what it is. I have to try and anticipate. I'm going to try and anticipate that he is, let's see, what's the chances of him doing a strike? Yeah, let's let's try and do that just to see. I'm going to anticipate that he is doing a strike, so if it happens we get to read some counter text. Is it a strike? It's an event. Super knockback or a free action. Uh, he does not have enough meter. You need 4 meter to do the super, which would have hurt a lot. Oh, he would have been able to move back. So we're going to do the other part, which is a free action. Discard this card and gain 2 meter. Simple as that. So Ryu is going to 3 meter. Our card gets discarded. It wasn't used. And then for his other action, again, we don't know what it is. I need the other attack in my hand. So... Hmm. I'll, get, I'll just block it. So he is doing a Collarbone Breaker. Range 1, dash. I don't actually know what dash does. Dash. 
move in a straight line, no direction changes. You can only dash if you end your movement in the space adjacent, so that's irrelevant because it's already adjacent. Mix up one means I am forced to reroll one of my defend dice. So I'm getting two defense dice, he's getting three attack dice. It's not part of a combo, so the other part of it doesn't apply. So that was a really good roll. That is five. And he's blocking one, which will be forced to reroll because of mix up. So now he's blocking zero, but one meter. So Ken goes up to four meter. And unfortunately, he takes five damage. One, two, three, four, five. So he's down to 18 health. So just like that, Ryu even things up. And it's back over to Ken. All right, Ken's turn again. We draw two cards. We have a Hellwheel Throw, and we have a another bait. Okay, so a bait is a good way to try and, like if we think we can get Ryu to block, which is obviously like a, a two and six chance, which roughly equates to the number of defense cards he would have, or likelihood based on totals. But again, it is not perfect. Uh, we could get two meter and then move, or we could try and hit them. Hit them, we could do something good. Okay, we're gonna try and do the hell wheel throw we got point blank. If we manage to deal damage, we can chuck him too. And if we throw him into scenery, he takes unblockable damage. So let's try and do a strike. The AI reacts by. Okay, normally I wouldn't be rolling nothing but twos. This is not showing off the system well because suddenly I'm just rolling twos. So he is gonna block. We roll two attack dice for Ken. He is doing one damage, he gains one meter, so he's up to five meter, which is not too bad. I think the max is 12. And then Ryu is blocking nothing. So he did actually take one damage. One whole damage. Now because he took damage though, I'm gonna be able to combo that. Because the end of it has a yellow button, and again, I think it can be either, it doesn't need to be both. So we're gonna combo it, oh. First of all, he has to be thrown. Let me just come around this side of the camera. We're going to throw him two. Oh, two. All the scenery here is within one. Hmm. Let's throw him here. We'll throw him up there. And then we're going to combo into Hurricane Kick. So that has the yellow button. It links in. We're doing a combo. Yellow button here. It has charge two. So we can move up to him. And we push him. And because we pushed him, it gets plus one attack. So we are rolling three dice, and because it's part of a combo, he's not allowed to counter. He only blocks. But we do still roll the dice to see if he would burn a card to get good defense. He would need a... I rolled a two again. Something is very wrong here. Ryu's defense. He's blocking nothing. Attack dice is three because of the extra one. He's taken two. Two damage. So he's down to 15. And one more meter gained, which puts him at six of the eight required if he wants to do his ult. And that was his second action. Nothing else to combo. Actually, no, that was his first action, wasn't it? Let's see, he did at least two damage. The first attack did three, right? I should have played a card when that happened. Mmm, I should have played a card when that happened. So there's some cards that play when certain criteria is met. Relentless Assault can only be played if you deal at least 3 damage and then it stays in play. But I I missed my chance. I, I, before, there was the other attack that did more. Uh, but that was one action. He has one left. It's very difficult to see them up there now, unfortunately. I think... Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Let's try and beat Ryu up. We're going to spend 4 meter and for the other action do a Shoryu, Shoryu, Shoryu Repa, however you pronounce it. It costs 4. You can only use boost defense, so you don't do normal defense, and any meter counts as hits, and you roll 4 dice for it. So that's our other action right there. That was our first action into a combo. This is our second action. We're rolling 4 dice. Oh, we drop 4 meter, so we go down to 2 remaining. There we go. Make sure it's tracking correctly. So we are doing... That counts as a hit for this. So we're actually only doing two though. Uh, does Ryu roll a one to use a boost dice? He actually rolled a one, which means he's burning a defense card, theoretically speaking. So he does get two defense dice. 
and he actually blocked it easily. So he took no damage from the Soryu Ripper, and that is Ken's turn over. So, reuse first action because he's not bothering moving. Discard. I don't think I want to block. Hmm. Might as well, this is a very low chance of happening, but I'm going to counter with a bait to see if I can like counter a bait if he's playing it. Very, very unlikely this is a bait, but... It is a Hurricane Kick. Oh, actually, let's get this in view because we haven't seen this yet. This attack gets plus one die for each space the defender was moved by charge. It charges two, so that means it's a four dice attack. And they're moving one, two, so they're back in the center. That's not good. That's four dice, and I can't block. He's getting one meter and doing three damage. So, where was he? He was at 15, and he's up to four meter now. And, yeah, there's nothing Ken can do. So, he is just eating that three damage. One, two, three. He's down to 15 as well. See, they're, they're keeping pretty even. But, Ryu gets to see if he can combo. Oh, actually, no, it doesn't link into anything, so no, he doesn't. It just goes on to his other action in this case. Because if it's literally impossible to combo, there's no point testing to see if he would. This is his other attack. I'm just going to block this one. Whatever it is. Leg Blade Kick. It's a strike. Dash, which isn't required because he's point blank already. And knockbacks two. As of his attack resolved, move him up to two spaces. Well, he's just blocking. So this is a three dice attack. He's doing three. Oh dear. Ken is blocking... Nothing. He gets knocked back two, so he's down here. And uh, yeah, that's, that's three damage. One, two, three. And here's me thinking I was going to beat the AI handedly after testing this a couple of times already. Yeah, anything else on this? He could move up to two spaces. I guess that's down to your... Like, there is certain parts where if you're using this simplified AI system, use your discretion. Imagine you were the, uh, the other player and just do what you think they would do. Ryu's got a lot of ranged attacks, he isn't going to follow up. So, back over to Ken. Alright, we pulled back a little bit because I'm hoping we'll get to see some involvement of terrain at some point. Another bait card? Ugh. And then another Shoryu Ken is what we drew. Hmm. I guess we're going to start by playing a bait. And we'll see what... Oh, I have to come around here, lift the dice over here. What is the AI doing? It is attempting to counter, so it is countering with... an event. Play this as a face down attack if the defender blocks. No, so... That is not good enough. We do our bait. It doesn't do any damage, but... We gain two meter, and then we can move one space. Move the opponent one space, sorry. You're not allowed to cause collisions. Fair enough. We'll move Ryu one and we gained two meter to put us back at four which is good so we're back at four 12 hp we have one more action this turn and hmm. let's do a shoryuken shoryuken we get to charge one so he goes like that we're getting a three attack dice how is the ai responding i is this weighted is this alien this is from aliens colonial uh Another glorious day in the core. This is weighted to always give twos. Okay, so it's a two, so he's blocking, but he's not burning a card. So he's getting two defense dice, three attack dice here for Ken. Ken did very well and got four. Ryu blocked one, so might as well just take that away. He did three damage, and I'm not going to forget this time. That means we can play as a response for Relentless Assault. Play when you deal with three or more damage. We dealt three. Draw two cards, put this card into your opponent's play area. They get minus one action during their next turn, then discard it. So we'll put this over here. Ryu's only getting one action, which is really good. We get to draw two cards. Forward step kick. And a thunder kick. Ooh. Interesting. But more importantly, Ryu took three damage, so he is down to 12 health remaining. And it is over to him for a turn in which, after he does his basic move, which he doesn't need to, he only gets to attack us once. So Ryu is, of course... Just gonna attack for his one action. And can we we've got 12 HP, he's got 12 HP, it sits down to the wire. I think we're just gonna block. Yeah, we're just gonna block. He is doing a special, so I'm glad I didn't try and counter it. A sure you can. So he pushes us one towards the camera now finally. 
Your Mitsu Hadouken attack may be used as a combo action if you deal damage with this attack. So if we draw another card after this and it's a Mitsu Hadouken, you would do it. Normally we wouldn't because there's no combo action at the end of this. But he's rolling three. He's doing two. We're rolling two for defense. We blocked one and got one meter. So, so I lean over. Ken is up to five meter, but he still took one damage. So he's got 11 left. Simple as that. That was his only action, but we have to see if this is a Metsu Hadouken. It is not, so I'll shuffle that back in. And that is his turn. Oh, and because it was his turn with one action, Relentless Assault is now discarded as well. Let's see what Ken draws into his hand. We have a Shoryu Ripper, which he does have enough to do, and a, another Thunder Kick. Okay, now unfortunately we don't have any combo opportunities here. Not yet, anyway. Okay. Well, we're going to play the Shoryu Ripper. We're going to burn 4 meter to do this. Super plus knockback. Oh, I don't think I did the knockback last time. If I didn't, I apologise. I, I didn't see that. So we're back down to 1 meter. And 11 HP still, obviously. Uh, what is the AI doing? I swear to you. I rolled this dice constantly during the Another Glorious Day in the core mission and it didn't roll 2s, it was rolling 6s forever. So he's blocking then. So 4 dice for Ken. Oh, and knockback 1. So you get knocked back. Ken is hitting for 3. Is this the one where you... Oh, you're not allowed to use normal block dice actually, so he just takes it. He takes 3 damage. Putting him at 9. We can't combo anything into that though. So for Ken's other action... Let's do... Let's do a Thunder Kick. So this is the second action. Thunder Kick, how does the AI react? He is blocking and he is burning a block card. So he is rolling four uh, defense dice versus three attack dice. Ken's attack whoop, is literally nothing. So there's no point rolling because it's doing no damage. He did gain one meter though. So the battle continues. Ryu is moving up into Ken and he is attacking top draw again after shuffling the deck. We're just going to block it. Yeah, we're just going to block it. Don't have enough left in my hand. So he's doing a leg blade break. No, sorry, leg blade kick. Three attack dice, dash two, knock back two. After it's resolved, you can move two spaces. So he's rolling three attack dice. And he's hitting for one, but he also gains a mirror. So he's up to five. Oh, that's the other thing with the AI. If they can ultra, they will ultra. Simple as that. Ken is rolling just two basic defense dice. He is blocking one, so he actually didn't take any damage from it, so the knockback doesn't apply. And because it did no damage, you're not allowed to try and counter it, so we just move on to reuse other action. Again, we're just going to block. And he's doing a Solar Plexus Strike. Okay. Well, he would dash in if he wasn't already in base to base, but he is. It doesn't combo into anything. Two dice against two dice. Simple as that. He's hitting for one. And Ken blocked it. So I think the stun doesn't apply. If the attack deals one or more damage, the defender must discard random number of cards equal to the stun. So yeah, it did no damage, so the stun does not apply. So for Ken's next turn, we draw two cards. We've got a focus attack event. Play as a face down and attack. If the defender blocked, this event deals four damage. Okay. And a violent Hado. It's one of his defense cards. Free action plus stays in play. You have to have five or less health, so we can't do anything with that. Well, what's the chances Ryu could roll another two? Let's do as our first attack, the focused attack event. So, what does the AI respond to? Because remember, this is supposed to be face down if you're playing a, another human. Really? All right, he blocked. So, what does that mean? If the defender blocked, oh, I know that's what we wanted for once. <laughs> If the defender blocked, this event deals 4 damage. Reduce hits as normal from the block dice, otherwise cancel this event. So you still get your defense dice. You blocked 1, so it did 3 damage. 1, 2, 3. He is down to 6 health remaining. And then that can't be comboed or anything like that. So we shall do... Hmm. 
Let's do a forward step kick and see what we can do with that. Obviously the stuns do nothing to the AI because the AI don't have a hand. He rolled a 1, so he's getting 4 defense dice. Apparently this is one of those days where I just roll low. So normally this is 3 attack dice, however if you're at range 1, which we are, you get an extra die. So Ken is getting 3 meter and does 2 damage. And Ryu blocks it. So he did no damage, but he did gain 3 meter, putting him back at 5. And with that, that is his turn. So, for the AI, we already know. Top deck, that's what they're doing. I'm going to try and counter it. I'm going to say that's a strike, and I'm going to try and counter a strike. Not to be confused with counter strike. Ryu is doing a special. Oh, I could have done something about that. Actually, no, I couldn't. I forgot I used to show you Ryu can. Okay, so I can't do anything about this, unfortunately. Not back one, and then he has a chance of doing a Mitsu Hadouken if you do any damage. So he's rolling three. I guess if you wanted to, this makes things a bit more complex, but if you're, the AI is doing a, an attack that could be charged with meter, I guess you could roll like 50-50 chance and see if he decides to do it. In this case, we're keeping it simple, so he's just going to do the three. Oof, he does three damage, knock back one. Ken is hurt. One, two, three. He's down to eight health remaining. And see if we draw a Mitsu Hadouken. Hurricane kick, so that's just getting shuffled back in. And that was one action, so let me just quickly shuffle his hand. And we're just going to block whatever it is he's doing again, unfortunately, because of the cards left in my hand, so we might as well just draw it immediately. Solar Plexus Strike has dash one on it, so he's in. And two dice, plus stun one. It's not part of a combo. He's doing one damage, and we're blocking. Blocked one, so actually it did no damage, so the stun does not apply. We're in the end game now, Tony. We have a Inazuma kick, which has poke on it. I don't remember what that does. The, the attack deals one or more damage, discard three cards from the top, top of the defender's deck. And then a quick Hadouken. Okay. Can we combo any of these? No. All right, well, we're going to start with a projectile because it's rare to have a projectile that works at range one, which would be a good bait if you were playing a human character. They'd think you're doing a strike or or doing a bait. So we're doing that, and we're, because we're at range one, we get plus one attack die. So we're doing that. How is the AI responding? It's a three. He's trying to counter us. He is countering with... He countered with a projectile. So that means we do the bottom text. If within range three of the attacker, they take two unblockable damage and you place your character in a space adjacent to them. Well, two unblockable damage on Ken. Seven, six, we have been successfully countered. I don't think you're allowed to uh, combo off of a counter. But either way, Ryu got us there, so that was a waste, that gets discarded. For his other action, let's try a Inazuma kick. We just need to desperately do damage. So we're going to do an Inazuma kick. How is the AI reacting? He is trying to counter us, he is countering with a projectile, so it doesn't apply, that gets discarded, and we do the thing. Three attack dice, no defense. Two meter, one damage, plus poke. So poke was discard three, you don't really need to do that for the AI, you can if you want. Uh, if you ever run out of cards to draw, you do what you would do for a human player, you uh, shuffle the discard pile and start drawing from that. 2 meter, 1 damage, Ryu is down to 5 health remaining, and Ken is up to, uh, let's see, 6, 7, he is at 7 meter, he's very close to being able to do his ultra. So we're in a difficult decision mode here, because the AI is attacking, there's the face down card. Now, I could use the violent Hado card to get 2 extra defense dice, so we'd be rolling 4. But if Ryu just does a little bit of damage to get Ken below 5, I can play it as an event, and then all meter results count as attacks instead, which might be enough to get Ryu down at the last second. Hmm, it's one of those decisions, what do you do? I think we're going to take this attack. Normal defense dice, it was a bait, so we'd blocked. If the defender blocked, discard all their block dice, gain 2 meter, and move them one space, can't cause collisions. So, Ryu is up to... 7 meter as well. 
Fair enough. And then his other attack, I want him to do one damage. I'm gonna just block, block whatever it is. It's a hurricane kick, charge two, so he's gonna actually, I think he hits us against the wall because it, he is pushing us two, but we can only get moved one to the edge of the table, so I believe that does one unblockable damage. Um, plus one attack dice for each move, so he is rolling three versus our basic defense of two. This is very bad. So he is hitting for two and gaining a meter. So he's up to eight meter. Thankfully this was his second action, otherwise he could have just killed us with his ultimate. We're blocking one. So we, we take one from his attack, but I believe you get one for hitting into the side of the level. So we took two, so we're down to four. If I'm wrong about that, apologies. I'm sure it'll be corrected in the comments. And that's Ryu's turn, and if we don't kill him next turn, we're, we're, we've lost. Okay, even though it's going to make it murder to try and read the cards, we've moved in super close for the final... This is going to be either the final turn or second last turn. Ken is drawing two cards. He is drawing, probably won't be able to get it in focus. Actually, that's not bad. A Fierce Hadouken and a Poke. Now, if we play that card... That would be... We could do it. Or I could risk just doing a basic attack, which would give us enough to do my ultra to finish him. Ah, what do you do? What do you do? Hmm. I'm also not sure if you're allowed to move diagonally. Although we don't really need to. Let's... Hmm. Okay, we're going to do the in his... Well, do I make use of my free movement first? I, I think you're allowed to move diagonally, so other, in other words, Ken can go like one, two, I think. Teleports behind you, etc. I might be wrong about that. I still want him next to Ryu either way. And we're going to do the Inazuma kick. What does the AI do? Don't roll a two. Okay, he's trying to counter us. He's countering with... Oh, he countered us with a strike. Place your character in a space adjacent to the attacker and throw them two spaces, then draw a card. Well, drawing a card doesn't apply to AI. It's going to get moved there, and he's going to chuck us into this tree, destroy the tree, and that means we take uh, one damage. So we're down to three health remaining, and this is not working out as intended. For his other action, Ken is going to do a fierce Hadouken. So that is right there. How is the AI reacting? Oh, this gets discarded. How is the AI reacting? He's going to try and counter us. He tried to counter with a special. That gets discarded and we do the attack. If we're at range 5 he gets extra attack dice. Sadly not. So we're just rolling 3. It could technically kill him, but it's not gonna. We got 1 meter and uh, 2 damage. So Ryu is down to 3. That does give us enough meter to do our ult. But, sadly, that was our second action, so we can't. And Ryu has enough meter, and I did say if the AI can ult, they will. So we might as well just do the turn, because this is how it's going to end. He's using Metsu Hadouken. Oh wait, that's Metsu Hadouken? I thought there was a normal attack called that. Oops. Range 1 to 8, 5 attack dice. This attack deals 1 additional damage for each space between Ryu and the defender, up to a maximum of 3. Ken is about to be eviscerated by a death beam. Five attack dice, you say? So there's there's five attack dice, and then one additional damage. So he's already doing two damage because he's two spaces away. So as long as this attack does one, he he kills me and I lose. For the record, if you're ever doing an attack that uses some of your uh, meter, you never gain meter on that. There's called the golden meter roll. Yeah, so he has done four. I don't think you're allowed to counter an ultra, but let's see, you, even if we were, it doesn't matter. He blocked one, so. Ken is eviscerated by the Metsu Hadouken. He is blown away, and the AI wins. So was that 100% fair? Was that a, like a super accurate representation of how two humans playing this game would be? Absolutely not and nor is it the the most intricate way of trying to handle playing against an AI opponent. As I say, there is much more well thought out intricate solo modes available for this game, 
I just wanted something that's super simple and has just like literally just a couple of extra basic rules plus a d6 for making decisions in a manner that vaguely represents uh, the rock paper scissors nature of countering and also the slightly low probability of having a card you can burn for extra defense. Not perfect. That was actually, I did mention the two off camera test matches I did of this were super close. I still won both of them. This is actually the first one I've lost. It might also be close because Ryu and Ken are so very similar in the manner in which they play. I don't know how well it'll work with other characters, but I'm very happy to try. So if you want to see more of this, please do let me know and we can make it happen. If you want to see a specific character, let me know. I think I'm still going to play as Ken next time because I'm getting the hang of like how his cards work. But we can bring out someone from the core box or one of the, the expansions. You can go see who's available by looking at the unboxing I did. Uh, I don't think I'm going to refine the basics of this much more because the whole point is keep it simple stupid, that kind of thing. There is much more complex and more balanced solo modes if you're looking for that. But I, I, as I say, I wanted something that was super simple, just using dice for chance, etc. So, and I feel like it worked out in this instance and it, it feels kind of fun, but I don't know. It is over to you, but thank you for giving this a chance if you did. Let me know what you think and maybe see you in the future for for more. I also apologies if any of the core rules I did in my turns were wrong. I know I, I think I forgot uh, one of the one of the knockbacks at least once, but you know that, that's just because of talking and filming, etc. Thank you for watching. Ta-da for now.